All right, so the reason I made this video is not to make another video showing you how to take care of this problem. It's to show you things other videos didn't. There are a couple of great videos out there by people who have done this repair numerous times. This was my first time and it was not smooth sailing. There were a couple of big issues that I didn't see in any of the other videos, so I figured I'd put this up and hopefully save you or help you at least so you can have a heads up before you start. Thanks for watching. If it gave you a little bit of help, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and without further ado, here's the video. Yeah, so this is just gonna be to get the front panel off. There's one, and I moved this, I, I disconnected it, I unplugged it, and I moved it so I'd have a little better access to everything and not be so cramped in my laundry area. There's those two. Pull it out and down. All right, so there's that. All right. And I'm also gonna need a flashlight because it's dark in here and if I can't see this corner. That should work. Here I'm just using a 5 16 inch socket to remove the water fill hose. It's just as simple as unscrewing it and pulling it off. Okay, I guess that's two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that comes off. There is a seal someplace underneath in there. So there's a new seal in the kit that I'll replace that with. So I'm gonna stick these underneath. I'm gonna put them where the veins are because it exerts a lot of pressure and I don't want it to, to break. So I'm gonna see if I can slide it kind of all the way under there. On one side, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this part, but all the way under on the other side. Now I'm just gonna evenly pump. I'm gonna hold it down so it doesn't kill me. Five with that side. Oof. All right, so you gotta be careful, but that's it. So it came off. That's why I was holding it down. All right. Next, needle nose pliers. They came right off. This is 11 millimeters over here. So let's... All right, that came right off. 11 millimeters that was, and there's nothing, there's nothing under it. So let's see, 13. All right, this is not gonna be easy. A little bang. All right. So yeah, I'll get a little impact. See if an impact wrench does it. It's right there. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it worked. One, two. Okay, there's those. Okay, so now to get this thing off, I'm gonna try to pry it up. There we go. All right, came off. And these came with that kit of the, of the inflatable things. Yep. Okay, and look at the junk in there. Not what I was expecting to see. 
there's a lot of water that's going to drain out. I should get some kind of shop towels to clean this out. But in the meantime, let me take this off right here. There's soap. This is just a disgusting mess. Wow. Wow, we and I have no idea what this is over here. I've never seen that on another machine. But something like So my suggestion here is to take the new part that you're gonna to use to replace the old ones, take them out and take a look at them. And this way you can have an idea of how big it is and where the ends are so you can know where to pry. It really helps for a situation like this where you wow. can't see what's going on. This is awful. All right, so I got a new one of these. I have to look and see how big it is. Gonna look like this all right so it it comes out here this is all part of it I could always cut this off if I had to There it goes. That's a muscle it off. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. It's all soap or crud. All right, so there's that. Now I bought this special, I bought the tool to take this thing apart. Let's find it. I bought this thing. All right, so let me get a, all right, I got a dead blow hammer. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll try it. All right. This shouldn't happen. Okay, this should be locked in place. So you can remove that bolt. The entire transmission and spindle are spinning around, left and right. So how do you take the bolt out when the whole spindle and transmission are spinning? So what you're gonna see next is probably an hour and a half of condensed time to figure out how to get that locked in place so I can take that bolt That's off. Because without taking the bolt off, you can't do the job. I can hold on to this. That's not what I'm looking for. I don't, I don't know. See if I could turn, if I put a thing in here. I'm replacing this over here, so. Let me take out the water sensor here. I need a second set of hands is what I need to hold this transmission here.
Holy crap. Holy Let's see. All right, so the round side does go down. Wow. Wowee. Wow. All right, so I had to hold the transmission with this from underneath. I don't know if my transmission's broken, it's not supposed to spin or what, but now I gotta pull this off. That should be fun. I don't know. All right, things point, these fingers are pointing up. The question is, what the hell is this? Is this two pieces? This is one piece, this thing. It looks like. Yeah, I'm never gonna be able to get a thing under it. This is just a, it looks like a plastic piece. Let's see if I can pry this up. Let's see. off I don't know what it is why it's so small so why it's different The best thing I found here is to use those plastic trim uh, pry bars. They actually came with the wedges. If you don't have any of those ready, I actually had a whole set of them, but those worked really well. I believe that's what that's what helped pull this off. I hate to break this, but I think this is. I think it's just the whole thing is going to come out. Wow. Oh, this is 
piece is coming off separately, isn't it? Holy, I had to edit out my cursing here. So bear with it for a second. All right. Wow. What is this? That's an extra piece. Luckily it didn't break. Because I should probably reuse this. All right, let's see if I can vacuum this stuff up. I don't want it. it's a wet dry vac, but I don't want to get anything wet. Put it. All right, I'm gonna to try to cut around this and take the upper upper seal off. Let's see. Wow. Wowee. I need a better blade. Right, let's see if I can grab it. I just want to see what this looks like. Again, here I'm looking at the replacement part to see exactly what I need to remove. All right. I should be able to pull that off if I get something underneath it. Holy crow. All right, there it is. Now, I gotta disconnect the water, the motor, and I can take the top thing a little up. bit. All right, so now I'm gonna try to get the water and crud out of here. So. Hopefully gonna drain everything from that's still up in there. And there's a lot still up in there. Well, I wouldn't say a lot. There's enough though. Here it comes. Come on. Nice. Well, that wasn't a big enough thing. Oh well. Better than nothing though. Damn it. See, they don't show you that, do they? They don't show you that. Womp, womp, womp. All right, well, anyway, let's get me some paper towels, clean this mess up. All right. I got these hooks. Let's see how this works out. They're under some decent tension. That's not fun right there. These are like for a motorcycle or something or others. And that as long as I would have liked. All right, let me get up so I get a little more leverage in. Oh, there's another one way back here. Wow, I don't know how I'm gonna get this back on later. Not easy. Let's see. Three. Let's get a 
uh, square the capacitor out. One, come on, baby, two. All right, let's leave that. If I could push this down and pull it out. There we go. All right. There's the wiring harness. All right. So let's leave the wiring harness out here. Well, too late now. See this? Hi, Mabel. Oh, oh, okay. I just pulled that. Pulled it out of its, its. It's in a little chain. It's a little. Look, it's in that little white thing back there. So I'm just gonna disconnect it here. The back one is the drain. Come on. All right. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta disconnect the drain also. Hi, right, Mabel. I'll take you out in a second. You stay there, okay? Okay. Now, you gotta make sure these hooks are attached and the, these hooks are hooking onto things. Right, stay. You stay. Now I gotta clean this. Look how yucky this is in here. Forget about fixing the seal. I can't I can't leave this like this. Here's the thing it sits on. outside here and I washed the outside and inside as well as I could this outside of this was filthy I thought it was rust it was all brown I guess it was soap I, I scraped off the back side and front side I didn't have to go at it with a uh, I thought I was gonna have to take a wire brush but I was able to scrape it and then use some acetone and I think it got I got everything off. Uh, bottom also, I got off. I had put, this is where I thought it was leaking from. So I had put some um, silicone over here, but I, I got it off now. It goes like, 
So the question is, how do I get it from here onto there and point it the right way? Hmm. I can just hold it from inside, actually. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. can't see that. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see what the... All I have is the blue Loctite, so it'll have to do. You see that white thing right yes. there? I want to try to pick this up and put it on top of there. Okay. All right, so just hold just it like this. Yeah, it's not that heavy. Perfect. It's not in right, it's on the side. Thank you. Is, Is yours down? Yep. All right, here's one. Very hard to see. Very hard to see. some isopropyl alcohol. Put on the side here. Okay. So there's not really much to say here. The idea is to make a three eighths of an inch to half an inch bead uh, along the metal lip. You're not supposed to touch the rubber seal. So that's what I tried to do. Now it's way, it would be way easier if you could walk all around the basket, but of course you can't. And that 506 sealant is impossible to work with. It's, it's worse than regular silicone. So anyway, I left this in just so you can get an idea. You get an entire tube of this stuff. So I didn't, I used as much of it as I could. Uh, there's one other thing that I never saw anybody else do and who knows, it says to, it said to do it in the instructions that came with this. It said to, after you push the top part onto the bottom, to take a flat blade screwdriver and stick it underneath the two seals and kind of give a twist to release the air. So you'll catch me trying to do that. Who knows if, it, if there was even air in there, but You'll see that coming up. If you see with a screwdriver, that's what it is. All right, there's the seal being pushed on. All right, now. 
now. I think this piece. All right. So this is sitting above. So now, and this here is the difference between somebody that does this for a living and somebody like me who spends way, way, way too much time trying to make it look nice, going around, putting a lot of, a lot of the sealant on and spreading it. But since there was a lot of sealant when I took off the uh, factory from the factory, I decided I might as well use a ton of this stuff and really spread it. Definitely use rubber gloves though, because I was taking them off and chucking them in, in between. It's really messy. Now this really isn't discussed anywhere either. It's really important to put a big bead of Loctite all on the metal, all the way around, a continuous bead. Apparently that metal hub locks into and sticks to the uh, the bearings uh, that you put in into the into the tub. So it's very important you, when you're letting it sit there for a couple of hours, not using it, it seals and becomes one piece, like a waterproof piece. That's so you got to make sure you do this part. All right. Again, and my ice maker's throwing ice, so I apologize if you hear it in the background. So before you put the nut back on, you have to put that plastic spline on and it doesn't fit easily, all right? I was panicking because I was afraid I was gonna break it. It's a little plastic thing with some fingers that stick up and to get it to seat all the way down was not easy, all right? So take your time and push it all the way down. Just remember to replace the nut the way you took it off. I think the rounded side goes down. Screw this out down. down here again. This on. Okay, I'm gonna put this there. Also. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the other the other thing on it. I'll put this on.
you know what, I'll use this one. Almost done with this nightmare. That's it. Now we just let this sit. I'm gonna let it sit 24 hours before we use it. And by the way, I did I bypassed the door slip so I can watch it. I can watch it go. So the agitator is working. So. Right, keep going. Okay. Bone dry. 